For many French people in the United States, Emmanuel Macron's state visit is a welcome sign of their country's renewed influence on the world stage. Writer Marc Levy is on a visit to the French embassy in New York. He says that France is taking the lead in ensuring that Europe has a voice in international affairs and that the participation in the airstrikes on Syria has reinforced that position. I think that it's positive that France is a frontline partner in the relationship with the United States, almost representing the EU, because France is one of the European countries alongside Germany with the strongest awareness of the importance of Europe. Businessman Olivier Cost has been in New York for four years, developing a messaging app that's powered by artificial intelligence. He'd like to see a Western alliance on high tech. I live in the high tech environment where the US are dominant, but China is going to be soon a giant. WeChat is already ahead of Facebook, and the Chinese market is soon going to be larger than the US and Europe together. So it would be great for companies like mine if the US and Europe could coordinate better their policies like national security, privacy, competition rules. We share the same values. But there's also concern in the French community over how the America first policy of Donald Trump may affect them. Artist and filmmaker Marine Gabrielle Brun Franzetti says that since Trump has been elected, people are much more worried. They worry about their future, their career. For people with a migrant status, for instance, French people like her, she says it's much more difficult to think about the future in the USA because they're worried about visas and things like that. There's been something of a French invasion in the fashionable area of Brooklyn, and tour guide Laureen Hamilton confirms it's the practical aspects of living in the U.S. that's of most concern for this community. I think that the priority for French people is to speed up the migration process, she says, with smoother and easier visa procedures. While other world leaders kept their distance, Macron stretched out a hand to Trump by inviting him to the French Bastille Day celebrations. It's a strategy that public policy researcher Jennifer Merchant approves of. I think President Macron has chosen diplomacy and dialogue, she says, with a president who is very controversial, and that it's a very good approach. I think that Trump and Macron have to take a critical approach to what's happening in our countries, and they should be able to have a dialogue about it, to be able to be open about the future. Your news correspondent in New York is Michela Monte. She says that French citizens living in the USA are watching the Trump-Macron axis with interest. Expectations vary, but everybody wants the French president to protect and develop French and European interests.